Time to know the top stories of the day. I am Jenny Arado. This is News Bits Tonight. Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio is mulling over ways to allow liquor drinking without having to compromise minimum health protocols. Ralph Yemet for this report. Even as the 24-hour liquor ban in Davao City is still in effect, Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio said the city is thinking about creating a balance that would meet all the needs of stakeholders without sacrificing the basic minimum health protocols. Isa po ni sa mga ginahuna-hunaan nato, Sir James, paun sa bata makakuan, uh, ma-cater nato ang um, gusto sa mga tao makapalit og alak, na dili, giha, di, nga dili sila magtapo, ang yung pagkahuman makanegosyo, gihapon ang atong mga uh, businessmen, especially sa liquor mm. industry. So, uh, kana isa na sa ito ang mga ginahuna-hunaan po paun sa mm. nato siya ma mabalanse. The mayor said one of her friends complained about Manila's liquor ban, questioning its connection with the COVID-19 pandemic. She said if alcoholic drinks are available in places like Sari Sari stores, people would buy and gather together, which violates the physical distancing and may result in the transmission of the virus. Duterte Carpio also cited reports on confirmed COVID-19 patients who contracted the virus during drinking sessions based on their contact history. The mayor said people drinking liquor is not a problem, but her concern lies on how the city will be able to implement people drinking liquor without gathering. The city extended the 24-hour liquor ban in all public places, along with the 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. curfew, through Executive Order No. 12 and 12-A that takes effect until May 31. Ralph Yemet, Newsbits Tonight. Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio, who is firm on banning cockfighting, is now planning to allow online sabong in a bid to add revenue to the city. Christina Alivio for the story. Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio admitted in a radio interview on Monday, April 12, 2021, that it was her who endorsed online sabong to the 19th City Council. The mayor said the city is looking for other means of tax revenue after it decided to reduce local fees and charges in favor of the local businesses which are going through hard times due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. She said the city can generate huge income from online sabung, although it is not something that will drown the city without it. The mayor said they are looking into the possibility of generating revenue from electronic sabung without compromising the imposed minimum health protocols. She added that she thought of pursuing the measure due to the continuous arrest of individuals engaged in small-scale cockfighting within communities despite her prohibition. Duterte Carpio earlier prohibited cockfighting and other forms of gambling in the city when Davao City was placed under community quarantine in 2020. The mayor added that Sabong violates the minimum health protocol as physical distancing will not be observed. Christina Alivio, Newsbits Tonight. To check more stories, visit our website www.sunstar.com.ph slash Davao. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also grab a copy of Sunstar Davao at Davao Central Convenience Stores, 7-Eleven, and nearest news outlets. And that's all you need to know for tonight. Good evening.